I'm Stephanie Nesbitt. I'm the Dean for the School of Business and Justice Studies here at Utica College. Uh, I came to the school in 2012 um, from industry where I was a practicing attorney and a risk manager for several large organizations here in the central New York area. So the School of Business and Justice Studies to some people seems like an illogical combination, but in many ways it's not. Uh, so our primary function is to support business areas of study. Um, so we have your classic accounting management. Um, sport management is one of our great and growing programs. Um, we also are adding business data analytics, another great program within the School of Business and Justice Studies. And that makes up what we call one division in the school. The other division in the school is our cybersecurity and criminal justice area of study. Cybersecurity was originally part of criminal justice. It really grew out of applications for Department of Defense and for uh, criminology and for uh, justice studies and, and law enforcement, we are seeing that it's developing into an everyday business need now. Every company needs cybersecurity. Every individual needs cybersecurity. So what we do is we sort of blend this uh, security and security function approach with business and business application. So in that uh, division of the school, we have classic criminal justice. We also have economic crime and fraud um, these are growing crimes. In fact, they're crimes that we hear about in the news right now. Um, and we also have cybersecurity, and that's your classic, how do I protect all of my information and all of my company's information, all of my country's information that resides in the uh, world of cyberspace now? A lot of our students do go into classic criminal justice roles. You know, they become state troopers, or they go to FBI, or CIA, or IRS even. Um, they have a whole investigative arm. But when we start to think about the fact that um, a lot of businesses, the things I have, I need to protect. And so there's integration and interplay there. People often move on from those classic law enforcement roles into business or, or, or private enterprise. And so um, everything's related. I think the things I like to talk about most are the things that are sort of new and shiny. And not because they're new and shiny, but because, boy, are they important right now. So cybersecurity is one of our newest areas of study. The industry says that we are short right now half a million cybersecurity professionals. Short right now. And that needs only growing. So we have a huge demand out in the world for cybersecurity professionals. Um, and we need to help fill that void. So it's a wonderful career opportunity. Another area that we're really working on right now, because it's applicable in all of our areas of study, is data analytics. So every time you click on a web page, every time you shop at Amazon, every time you buy something on the internet, that's data that's collected. Every time you read your favorite news source, it's data that's collected. We're amassing huge amounts of data in the world now, and knowing how to manage that data, how to analyze that data, what the data means, where to get good data, what data is not good, that's becoming necessary in all of our professions. And we're in the process of rolling out new degrees there um, and embedding that skill across all of our areas of study. So we've really got some things happening in business and justice studies that are very new and very relevant right now. Another area of study that I always like to talk about, accounting. People think it's the most boring profession. It's not. I'm married to an accountant. Accountants are wonderful people. Um, but accounting is a profession where there's great growth and opportunity. So if you have a mind, not for numbers, numbers sort of matter, but for following rules and organizing, accounting might be a great profession to follow because the unemployment rate is usually somewhere below 1.5%. Uh, so you usually can find a job in accounting. It's a good choice. So construction management, one of our uh, growing programs, uh, really coming on strong. Um, we're actually looking to make that into a, an educational center hub for construction management here in the Northeast. That's our goal. Brand new building there, great faculty, um, really active advisory uh, committee there that provide our students with a ton of opportunities um, here in the Northeast and across the country. Really well connected, accredited program, like many of our other programs uh, are accredited in the School of Business and Justice Studies. Um, but the construction management program has a culture all its own. So it's a member of our school, um, but you can identify a construction management student um, from across campus. 
On Tuesdays, everyone dresses up in business attire. They call it Tie on Tuesday. At homecoming and events, they have their smokers out um, making Texas-style barbecue. If you choose construction management, you're going to fall in love with the culture, you're going to fall in love with the area of study, and you're probably just going to want to continue. So uh, we don't see a lot of people switching out of construction management. Switching in, yes. Switching out, no. Graduate programs have been growing for us. Um, we have several. So we have a master's in cybersecurity, a master's in financial crime and compliance. We also have a, a large MBA program, an MBA in accounting, which uh, qualifies you to sit for CPA examination and licensing. We have some of the, the newest facilities on campus. So the Brennick Center was added just a few years ago. Thurston Hall was after that. ECJS is about 10 years old. So in the construction management building in Thurston Hall, we have dedicated computer rooms that have specialized software that deal with the types of things you would see on a construction site, from drafting to um, estimating, which is a huge part of any construction project. In um, ECJS, Economic Crime and Justice Studies, we have computer labs. We have the ability, you know, in those labs in secured settings to go places on the dark web and, and, and things like that uh, for our students. And then downtown, the Brennick Center in business, we have a trading room um, that allows us to really um, do a lot of hands-on work with our students. Also home to our investment club that manages a live portfolio of investments. They started with about $30,000 uh, several years ago. That portfolio is now worth um, in excess of $170,000. Um, but we're right down in the heart of Utica. It's a growing area. We have the new hospital being built there, the Memorial Auditorium's adding the Nexus Center. Businesses are popping up all around there. I think there are a couple of things that are really important here at Utica College. We have a blend of true academics and people that come from industry like me. So uh, academia is my second career. I came from industry, I was a practitioner, and that brings something unique to the classroom just like a true academic brings a, a perspective to the classroom. So we have a, a good mix. I would say 50-50 in faculty across the school. The other thing is, because we're in a smaller community here in Utica, we have some great community connections that give us wonderful opportunities. So for example, our sport management program, we have a partnership with the Nexus Center in the Memorial Auditorium. Our students are gonna be embedded at that facility doing practical learning. So no other program that you might go to will give you the opportunity to work with a professional sports team or in a conference center. Uh, we actually take our students out to visit businesses. So one of the very first classes you take is Management 101. In that class, we do a business simulation about opening a coffee shop. To get you started in thinking about how to run a coffee shop, we take you to the local coffee shop to talk with the owners about how they run their coffee shop. So it's a great way to sort of really get out and meet and see business while it happens. We also, because of our relationships, we have great opportunities to work for not-for-profit agencies here around the, the community. So we actually often have professors who are doing work for local municipalities in our data courses to help them apply for grants to upgrade infrastructure. Um, we have projects like that that pop up all the time, and that comes from being in the sort of smaller community where Everybody sort of knows the, the local uh, CEOs and, and chief operating officers of the companies, and we can get really meaningful um, opportunities for our students. We're a fairly small faculty. So within the School of Business and Justice Studies, there's about 40 regular faculty members. You will pretty much know all of us by the time you graduate. Um, you will have pretty much studied with, with most of us by the time you graduate. Um, so it's a, it's a group that you can feel very comfortable with. But I think the important thing to note, whether you're looking at cybersecurity, uh, justice studies division in business and justice studies, or the classic business programs in business and justice studies, in both of those divisions, the primary educational components are the same. And we've done that purposefully. So if you come in and you say, business something is what I'm interested in, but I don't know the difference, don't worry, because you can actually get through a year and a half to almost two years of study before you hone in on what it is you really like to study in business without any penalty, because we all share a common, what we call our business foundations or business core, and everybody's going to take those classes. It gives you a chance to look at everything, and then it gives you a chance to decide what works for you. 
You do the same thing in justice studies and cyber. So you get a good look at the, the professions and then you get to sort of sort out where you're gonna specialize. And changing your major or changing your mind around year two or so isn't a big deal in almost all of our programs. You should have had a variety of opportunities to do real hands-on work, real either through an internship or, or some other form of, of uh, educational opportunity. So you should be able to hit the ground running in, at most entry-level positions in these professions. And the good thing about these professions is that there's a career path upward. We have good placement. Uh, construction management is one of those areas where students usually have something before they graduate. Accounting, students usually have a job before they graduate. Cyber, students usually have a job before they graduate. And we often see our students coming back to us to get their graduate degrees um, as they make that progression upwards. So um, students should expect that they leave the Business and Justice Studies School with real, appliable skill and knowledge to get them a career in an area of study that, that they've been concentrating on.